Thank you so much for staying with us. December 10 is globally recognized as Human Rights Day, commemorating the adoption of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948. In Namibia, this day is doubly significant, celebrated as both International Human Rights Day and Namibian Women's Day. The latter acknowledges a pivotal movement in Namibian history, serving as a reminder of the past human rights abuses and emphasizing the crucial role women played in the struggle for their restoration. Tonight, uh, we have human rights, human rights and gender activist Rosa Namises to discuss the importance of Namibian Women's Day. Very good evening, Ms. Rosa, and happy Women's Day to you. Thank you, and same to you. Same <laughs> well, to, to you. the women in my life, rather. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. Mm -hmm. uh, firstly, let's talk about you know, the importance uh, of, but, of, of being a woman, uh, but rather talk to us about you know, how, what makes you proud as a Namibian woman. Okay, I think what makes me proud as a Namibian woman mm -hmm. is stepping quickly backward and looking at how we as Namibian women have been yeah. and where we are now. And for example, looking at the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, mm -hmm. this um, very UN Plaza that we are celebrating today yeah was a point of demonstration mm -hmm. where many of us women were beaten up and tear gassed. Mm -hmm. So now looking at life insecurity then, and looking at yesterday, for example, when we stand freely and celebrate, tells me that we have come a long way. And that really is one thing that makes me proud, that a space is created for women to be who they can be and to be part of the process of their country. And I also think the, the significance for this day for me mm -hmm. is young women mm -hmm. looking on to us, mm -hmm. celebrating, and that means they will take on to our footsteps and follow in the next gen. Very well. Yeah. Uh, look, could you elaborate on the specific achievements that Namibian women uh, ha are, that are celebrated on Namibian Women's Day? Actually, I think this day is um, double. Mm -hmm. So for me, firstly, it's to recognize what has also happened in 1959 yeah. in the old location that is. Then our achievements is one of them is that we have set out the laws really clearly set out laws, um, the Domestic Violence Act, reviewing it also and seeing the loopholes and making it better. The Rape Act, including younger children and also making it a, a crime uh, below 16. That speaking to that kind of things is a very significant situation. Also bringing in women to kind of have a say in the political decision making, urging them still to open their voices and their vocal cords. They are present, but they are not so vocal. That is another achievement. Also, I think another little one that I think is the enrollment of women, young girls into schools and tertiary education. Very well. Mm. Uh, you mentioned that uh, you know the women specifically have uh, have, have gotten the chance to, to have uh, you know space in the political space, uh, but more needs to be done. Could you elaborate on what exactly is there that still needs to be done, needs to be for, done. Yeah, for, for women to get that opportunity? I think it's not only good to have numbers. Mm. The quantity is not so much important. Even if we have four or five in there, mm. but if we can address the issues uh, that for me is a very important thing. So the quality of representation, mm -hmm. the discussions, the addressing of issues, now within that, the silencing is still happening in the lawmaking offices. I think in parliament is still a national council, women's situation and space is not yet friendly so that they can be the free birds that needs to sing out all the issues that are troubling us as women. For example, there is still amongst themselves also some controversy around issues of marital rape yeah. or not rape, whether you are raped in marriage or not. Those we need to clarify. 
and find clarity about our situation and articulate it very well on behalf of those women who are sitting outside. So those little things are making our voices dimmed mm -hmm. and not loud out there. And I think that needs to be corrected. And then practically implementing our women should not only be sit, seen sitting there, but also being seen doing practical actions out here. On the ground. Yeah, on the ground so that we can live what we have put as laws mm -hmm. into our country. Very well. Yeah. As a Namibian woman, how do you believe that this day should be celebrated? I think as a Namibian woman, mm. I think we are not coming out in our strongness and in our visible numbers. Mm. We are not embracing ourselves the day. Our, our men are rather present for us on this day, mm. which is a very good thing because the old location is also something that has been uh, affecting both women and men. So what I think on this day, what we should do is to come out and show ourselves in different ways. In the ways where we fight against gender-based violence, in the way where we fight for economic empowerment, in the way where we act in communities. Well, this day should be seen a day that we are acting ourselves out. It's a day that we are celebrating. It's a day that we make it to matter. And from here, like today is the 11th, yesterday was the 10th, from that celebration, we take the next steps forward mm -hmm. for the next year. So this day should be the trend setting. Every year we come to this day, celebrate it in our fullness, in our numbers, with the different themes, because the day has a theme that it is given, mm -hmm. and then with that theme, we step out and, and walk the every day, so that it does not just become the 10th that we are celebrating, but the 10th is setting the trend for the next year. Very well. Yeah. You mentioned the old location uh, situation, of course, that happened in the past, and uh, one of the names that actually would appear in that, in that instance is that of uh, Kakuruka de Mungunda, which is such a, a significant you know, leader who in, 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 in women, uh, and of course the Namibian history. Are there any notable figures or leaders in Namibia women's history who are honored on this day? Um, besides uh, her, um, our ancestor, uh, there, there should be women to be honored. Um, and this should also be the day to not recognize uh, as heroes out there on the 26th of August, but this day we should honor our heroines. And there is women like my little uh, not she's not little. She's older than me. Uh, Auntie Ita, Jimmy. There is Auntie Ita Hoffman. There is other great, great other women. Auntie Gertrude Kandanga. Um, Uma, the, we call her Uma, um, the, the great mother who was in. In I just slipped her name, but uh, it's Naomi. That Uma. They, these women should be celebrated. And then other women that are silently sitting there. Yesterday I had the honor of meeting um, the, the, the great mother, uh, Bakarai. She's almost um, moving into her 80s now. And, and she's one of the women that was sitting in the old location. I also meet Oma Kwakoses, uh, these uh, great women, Oma Zulu, the, the, the aunties that are there. Not even aunties, but they are elders. They are about to enter their 80th birthdays and 90th birthdays. Mm -hmm. And you sit with them and they don't get recognized. Mm -hmm. And we, it's not anybody else's responsibility. It is me and many other women's responsibility to stand up and mention these women out loud mm -hmm. and make them matter that they become the symbols of resistance, but also the symbols of peacekeeping. Because um, when you talk to them, you hear the whole honored wisdom that is coming out of these women. And I think it is time that we raise their faces and we bring their wisdom uh, when we celebrate. And that's one of the uh, actions that we need to take when we celebrate. On the 10th, recognize all those strong women. Um, also those who are laid to, in to the, rest. To rest yeah. Also them, we should call them out. Yeah. 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 How has the Namibian Women's Day evolved uh, in your understanding over the years and what significance does this day hold uh, for Namibia? 
How did it evolve? I think, especially I need to touch a bit on the history. Um, there was a universal declaration celebration before independence. I think it was the 10th anniversary and or the 30th, I don't know. Um, I was younger then and we took it to the UN Plaza, today UN Plaza, mm -hmm. but it was just an open field there. And we were celebrating this day and Caspers, all the dogs, everything came and we were, had to run away. Of course, some of us were very stubborn. Mm. You don't want to run, so you get the tear gas and so on. So one of the significant events that has made UN Plaza to be called today UN Plaza mm -hmm. is that event. We were literally standing on the drums and celebrating the, uh, the anniversary of the declaration. So for me, from there on after independence, I'm really um, quite happy that we have never forgotten about it. Also, the Women's Day is a day where linking to the old location uprising, surviving from the German Holocaust uh, or genocide, I want to say, and surviving apartheid yeah. and, and making ends meet by working in that apartheid system, I think we could not do differently than to make that space for the women. Also calling on them for equality, for equal pay to be treated just, and when they are raped to be heard properly, in dignity, those were the things. And that has really brought us up. And the day slowly and really strongly was celebrated by both um, government, ministries and civil society. We have been, because we link it together uh, and uh, don't make a difference in this day with the old location, that is part of the resistance that we recognize. So I think because of that steps and the role that women have played to liberate this country and the role that women are still playing to hold the peace, to bring food security um, and to make sure that they become mothers, although the challenges are very deep, deep, deep mm -hmm. in our society in this new era, but they are still steadfast there. Right. That Could makes you also it. Maybe just uh, extend more on the challenges that women face in society today. Mm -hmm. I think the challenges that our women face today in society, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I think it's this whole question of poverty. Mm -hmm. um, women are the ones expected to put food on the table. It's no longer a breadwinner story. It is a story of both parents and both mother, father to play that role. But what I can say now is mostly there is unemployment, which is an additional challenge. So if the chain starts with unemployment and not having access to employment, not having completed your grades or your standards, but besides that, not even available basic services, basic tasks that you can do, basic work that people can do, is not even anymore available. And that creates the poverty, and that poverty situation impacts on women. Then I think there is a whole question of family members committing suicide, and that traumatizes women as well as men a lot. And it challenges uh, women and put them in the guilt trap so that they feel more guilty. What have I done wrong? Where did I step out of order? It's my, my reason why the person has committed suicide. It's a love triangles. It is a trauma from society. And then also the economy. In terms of the economic crisis that we are faced with, more especially after the corona has come, I think this corona has also come and we didn't know how to handle it. And that has resulted in the, the challenge that women are facing. Right. So, so before we let you go, uh, to younger women or girls that are growing up, how would you want them to understand and you know, have a vision for you know, the future in terms of celebrating uh, women, Women's Day in Namibia? Actually, women, younger women should firstly celebrate themselves mm. for being women and being young women in this era. They should recognize that their bodies are very sacred and that they 
have a role to play yeah. in this society of ours. Mm -hmm. And younger women should actually look from the elderly women, yes. those that are role modeling for them, mm -hmm. and those that are bringing up um, justice behaviors or moral behaviors for them. Young women should also educate themselves, not only academically, but society, culture. The young women should know mm -hmm what is to be done and what is not to be done. And the young women should build assertiveness, deep, deep assertiveness that will bring them to confidence. That will make them enter spaces where they normally would be churned away with dear, dear respect mm -hmm. to their culture. But if it is harmful, the women should learn to challenge that. And the women should, younger women should really cooperate together. They should work together. They should listen to each other. And they should learn from each other's experiences as well. Right. Yeah. Ms. Rosa, thank you so much for making the time to talk to us. And all the best. And happy Women's Day to you once again. Same to you, the women near to you. <laughs> thank you so and much. And all the women of Namibia, happy Women's Day. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Yeah. Human rights and gender activist uh, Ms. Rosa Namises was talking to us about uh, our world, uh, Namibia Women's Day, how it was celebrated, of course, just instilling some of the knowledge that women should be taking and the understanding that's thus far.